Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about a subject that is probably one of the most common questions uh, that I answer on a weekly basis. It's probably one of the biggest concerns that people have when they come in to see me for back pain and that's whether or not uh, degenerative dis disc disease is serious. Um, many people are told that they have back pain because they have degenerative disc disease. Now when you look on the internet, there's all kinds of information about degenerative disc disease and a lot of the information on there makes it sound really scary. And uh, what I want to talk about today is should we be concerned? Is degenerative disc disease a thing that is likely causing your pain? And, uh, and if so, what can be done about it? So one of the things that we know about degenerative disc disease, which is basically uh, when people say that, I would just want to tell you what it is. When people say that, it's just we have a bone on top of a bone, which are vertebrae, in between is our discs, and degenerative disc disease is that that space between the two bones gets a little bit narrower as we get older. This has been studied a lot in people with neck pain, in people with back pain. And some of the coolest studies that have been done is they take a group of people that have had an episode of back pain, do an x-ray or an MRI on them, look and see what their spine looks like, and then they follow them from, some of the studies have been six years, some have been 15, and some have been 20 years. And they see what happens to the people's spines, and they see uh, what happens with the people's pain. And what we find in those studies is that from the initial time that the people have their x-ray or MRI done to the years following, their degenerative disc disease or changes in their spine have progressed. But what those studies also find is that that progression has no correlation with who has pain. It does not predict who's going to get pain. So basically what it means is that yes, those degenerative changes will happen as we get older, but it doesn't correlate with becoming painful. The other thing that we have to look at in this is that there's been studies done where they will take like a thousand people without back pain or without neck pain and they'll do x-rays or MRIs on their spines. And they take people from a variety of age groups, so 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, and so on. And what we find from those studies is that as we get older, the incident of degenerative disc disease continues to go way up. And again, remember, these are people without pain. It goes up so much that if you are in your 60s or 70s, 90% of people in your age group are gonna show degenerative disc disease. All right, so when it is so common in a, in a pain-free population, and we have studies that show that yes, it progresses, but it doesn't correlate with who gets pain and who doesn't, we have to be very cautious, and I would almost say forget about attributing your pain to degenerative disc disease. Contrary to what you see on the internet, contrary to what your doctors will tell you, degenerative disc disease is not the sole cause of low back pain. Everybody gets it. It's, uh, it's so frequent that researchers now say it's like gray hairs on the inside. Just like our skin gets wrinkles as we get older or we lose our hair or our hair turns gray, we wouldn't expect our face to hurt, we wouldn't expect our head to hurt. The same thing happens on the inside of our body. Changes happen as we get older, but that's not the result of pain, or not the, not the contributor to pain. So why is knowing this important? If you feel like you have degenerative disc disease and that's the cause of your pain, there's really nothing that can be done to stop it. It's gonna happen as we get older. And if you feel like there's nothing that can be done to stop it, you can start to feel hopeless, that you're, you're always gonna have back pain. There's nothing you can do about it. And the reason I bring this information out and try to correct it is that because it shows that just because you have degenerative disc disease, just because you've been diagnosed with it, does not mean that you can't get out of pain with the right help, with the right education, with the right treatment sometimes, all right? It's common in a lot of people without pain. We all have it, we all will get it. And uh, I don't want you to think that it's something serious or something that will stop you from getting rid of your back pain. So this might be something new that you haven't heard in a while or haven't heard before. If you have questions, reach out. If you've been diagnosed with degenerative disc disease and told that that's the cause of your pain and you're still suffering with pain, please reach out and uh, touch base with me. I'd love to meet with you and try to help you out.
Thank you.